checking in on that forecast looks very different than yeah. it's been looking the past few days, Josh. <laughs> yeah, keep in mind, yesterday we climbed up into the 90s. A, a big difference mm -hmm. today with the return of the wet weather. We're talking about over 20 degrees cooler at this point in time compared to our afternoon high that we experienced yesterday afternoon and evening. No surprises, the cloud coverage has once again returned along with the welcome sight of some fall-like rains. And these officially are first round of autumn rains as we are now several days into the start of the brand new season. But 67 degrees is where we currently sit with a beautiful cloudy live look out over the Vancouver waterfront area thanks to our 13 coins camera. As our current temperature is hovering in the upper 60s, expecting to hold on to that wet weather trend through the afternoon. Now you'll notice that some of the clouds expected to break apart a little bit later this evening. I still anticipate a splash and dash shower to still race its way across the I-5 corridor and much of the Pacific Northwest. As our rain gauges are slowly starting to fill up, you'll notice close to over a quarter of an inch out towards Astoria, picking up on a couple of one hundredths of an inch further south along the coast. But all of these numbers will be on the rise over the next several hours, thanks to the no short supply of the moisture. Those yellows, oranges and some subtle reds are a good indication where the heaviest of the downpours are currently falling. We've got a few lightning strikes out towards the Lynn County area up in elevation as we do anticipate this latest cold front to continue to impact much of our area. You can see it with the future cast all time doubt still holding on to that wet weather potential for much of the Willamette Valley as we move our way into the evening commute. Then we start to dry out our skies. Still maybe a raindrop or two along the coastline, but it's those clearing skies that will help to drop temperatures tonight and start the day off tomorrow, at least through the lower elevations with some patchy fog. So be mindful of that on your commute tomorrow morning as we expect the sunshine to once again return for the I-5 corridor for the second half of the day on Thursday. It's Friday. We get another little brief shot at some moisture, but nothing in comparison to what we are currently experiencing here across the Pacific Northwest. Helping to fill up those rain gauges through Friday afternoon to about a tenth of an inch for the I-5 corridor, closer to a half inch found along the coastline. Now a much different picture for our friends out towards the Gulf of Mexico as now we are tracking Hurricane Helene taking aim at much of the Sunshine State as it moves over some warmer waters. That's where we expect it to strengthen to a category three storm making landfall Thursday evening into Friday morning. We are talking about significant storm surge. So that is the Gulf Coastal waters moving inland by almost a foot in some of the parts of the panhandle. Now, as far as the major hurricanes go for the state of Florida, the last time we saw a major hurricane was back in 2023. Now, this is going to play into our weather pattern here across the Pacific Northwest, really kind of stabilizing everything. So again, there's the hurricane expecting this Omega blocking pattern to take shape. So the summer heat that we felt just yesterday stabilizing over the Rocky Mountain states as we really kind of hold on to that potential for dry, a few light showers on Friday, but stabilizing those temperatures right in the sweet spot of the mid 70s where we should be for the very tail end of September. So it all connects together as we keep those temperatures right around 74 degrees moving into the weekend, slightly cooler Sunday with a few more clouds in the mix before we warm back up above the average of 74 approaching 80 degrees about one week from today. Now, speaking of today, we are expecting to see those wet weather potentials stay with us all the way through the afternoon and into the evening hours tonight. We'll start to break apart some of that cloud coverage, see patchy fog develop, and those temperatures will be hovering right around 53 degrees. Our seven day forecast does show the stable weather forecast really starting to take shape for the second half of the week. Again, it's Friday morning, maybe a stray raindrop or two for us here across the I-5 corridor, and then expecting that sunshine to return by the afternoon and evening hours, but really starting to feel a lot more like the autumn season as opposed to the high heat of the low to mid 90s that many of us got to experience. Uh, just yesterday afternoon. I know driving in with the rain and the leaves falling. I was like, wow, oh, fall here. is here. Yes. yes. Um, hey, we were talking about that weird odor uh -huh. off the top of the show that a lot of you have been reporting. We have some new information. A lot of reports coming out of southwest Washington about a strange odor in the air. Well, the Cascades Volcano Observatory has announced that there have been no abnormal seismic readings or activities that could have caused natural gas leaks, so we're ruling out that possibility. We are continuing to follow this story closely. We'll have more information as soon as it becomes available. We'll be right back.